So Darren, a, a new week, Holloway, uh, the next challenge. How are you feeling in the run up to the game? Yeah, good. We've had a, obviously one day more to, to prepare for it. Normally you're more common and get a Tuesday game. So yeah, we, we went through everything we needed to on Monday morning. All the, the good and the bad from, from the weekend. And there was a lot of good stuff. We obviously spoke at length about the areas we needed to improve on, which I mentioned after the game. And now we move quickly on to uh, another uh, tough away game. Yeah, and potentially a, a big game, not just in terms of both teams needing points, but wanting a win for confidence and to start momentum. Yeah, I feel that it's you know two teams that are down there, two teams that got promoted last season. Um, I've watched a few of their games and they've this season I feel they've been in every game you know and they've been probably unlucky probably similar to ourselves to probably not pick up more points um, two good footballing teams it'll be a good game we had two very good games against them last season um, I'm expecting another one tomorrow yeah you've got a good record with uh, Posh at, at, at Hull hoping to extend that really yeah, I hope so um, no, there's, there's no um, doubt that we need to obviously start picking up points away from home you can't continue the way we're going and Obviously, tomorrow's another opportunity to do that. Yeah, and obviously the Grant McCann factor as well. Someone that played uh, for you at this club is uh, photographed still on the walls at some part of the club. Um, what's that like going up against a, a former player? Is that still strange or do you sort of just see him as a, another manager now? No, I know. Listen, I've known Grant for a long time. Obviously, he was a great player for us. And quite rightly, he's, you know, you'll see him around the place because he's part of the history of the club and a successful part of the history. He's obviously taken the decision to go into management and has done very well. He's done very well. I know it's what it's like myself when you have a club that's relegated to get them back up's a good achievement. Um, you know, and I've seen him a couple of times in the last few weeks because he's been here to watch his, you know, some games and stuff. So, you know, I get on fine with Grant. I've got a lot of respect for him, and he's, you know, you could see as a player he, he would become a manager. And what do you expect from his side? They're clearly struggling for goals at the moment. Is, do you think that would be a factor? Well, I don't know. I mean, they have got some good attacking options. Um, I've watched the game from the weekend and the previous one, and they played different formations in those two games. They got a good home win against Middlesbrough in their last home game. It's a massive pitch at Hull, so, you know, I don't know how they're going to go. We've obviously prepared as we normally do today. But they've certainly, as every team in this league, have got strengths and, and some real dangers. Yeah, and two teams potentially lacking in a bit of confidence. How important is that first goal? Because it could be quite a nervy game, and if, if you're the team that, that get that first goal, put a bit of pressure at them in, at home. Yeah, I mean, we've just got to improve in the areas that we needed. To, we spoke about on Monday and, and what we showed them in the video. In terms of a lot of our stuff up to the edge of the box on Saturday was very good. It was that bit that was missing. They have got it in them. I'm confident of that. And it's important that you know we just keep persevering, and hopefully it turns. We probably could do with a break, but you have to earn that. So, no, it's it, it's it's a very important match for both teams. And you made changes in terms of formation and and personnel, but you must have been quite happy with the shape and the balance that, that the team put together. Yeah, the shape's a, a good shape. One I've, I've used before. It's got real flexibility. You know, at times it's a three four three, it's a three five two, it's a, a three four one two. It's got real flexibility with it, and that's how we want to use it. Um, but no, I thought the players enjoy playing in that shape, and obviously we could change that for tomorrow or, or remain the same. Yeah, and obviously those that missed out, I think Ward, Coventry, Burrows, and, and Kent. Um, how have they reacted this week? Is there a potential for some of those to be back in the starting lineup? Yeah, they've, they're, they're, listen, we've got a good group of lads, a good, a good bunch. You, you have to explain dis difficult decisions to the players as long as it's. I always explain whatever decision I'm making to them because I think it's important that they understand why I'm doing certain things. They, they, want, they won't agree with everything you, you do, but they'll respect the fact that you've explained it to them. Uh, and I've, I've always got to make some tough decisions with a squad we've got, you know, and. Um, but as long as I treat the players all exactly the same, which I do, then they're, they're fine with it. And still, obviously, uh, limited in the striker department. Yeah. Um, Sariki and, and Sammy have been stepping up, amongst others. Um, how pleased have you been with the job they've done under these difficult circumstances? Yeah, they've had a couple of games um, now, and that's sort of close together. Obviously, Bristol, Sammy got two good goals, and we looked we looked very strong attacking-wise. There was other problems we had defensively. 
whereas against Middlesbrough we, we got to certain points on the pitch and then it was just final decision final pass maybe not shooting quick enough so we've, we've spoke about that and the players are are fully aware that they need to improve in that area of the pitch because that is where you win and lose games yeah obviously it sounds such an obvious thing to say but getting more shots on target has to be mm. one of the keys that one of the things you've been working off maybe getting the shot out a little quicker yeah but look it's not as if we're not telling them it's, the players have to take responsibility on, when they're on, on the pitch on the grass they know that um, my job is to make sure they're fully prepared both you know and tactically mentally everything and we go through it that way and then obviously I've got to pick what I feel is the right team And then, but the bench is going to play a big part tomorrow night there's no doubt about it you know when you have two games in, in a week the later part of the games are important so we've got to make sure I've got to be mindful of that Um but the players know themselves that they could have done certain things better on Saturday, which we'd probably, if they had have done, and I'm not saying 100% of the time, even 20, 25% of the time, it probably would have got us a point. And I know he's not involved at the moment, but just a word on Johnson, Clark Harris. Um, what's it been like for him? Is the break doing him good or is he cutting a bit of a frustrated figure not being involved? Um, no, he's been fine. We, we need to up his fitness levels. and This, this is the perfect time to do it. Uh, because by the time he comes back, it'll be you know fast and furious again. We've only got one more international break until next year, so it just starts picking up the congestion of fixtures. So, but yeah, it's it's important that we continue working with him on on these areas of the, of his game that he needs improving, and obviously on his fitness as well.